execution, I mean, I'm making the reads, uh, defense, I, I did in the defense, I did a pretty good job at. Just um, find details for the things I need to clean up on, just like throwing mechanics and driving off my instep when I'm throwing and getting the ball up and just stuff like that and ball placement, really, because that's what it comes down to is mechanics. Tommy was talking about the learning the playbook and obviously coming in mid-year that probably helped, but how different was Joe's playbook relative to what you are in in high school and what was kind of the challenge of just getting a grasp of it? Uh, the rhyme and reason for why I do everything and just defense recognition is a big thing, going to certain places and what, knowing why to go there and when to go there. And um, a lot of things change like on mid-play like based on what defense is doing. So that, that was probably the biggest adjustment I'd make. Is it a lot different from what you were in in high school? Uh, I mean, it's a lot of the same plays, but just – knowing why you're doing stuff and going certain different ways for different reasons. It's a very talented Auburn defense. When you see them, what stands out to you? Um, I got a great um, front and forward, really. And, um, I mean, they're uh, they're good all across the board. They'll be the best even if we played this year. But um, their front four are real good and then man coverage. They really trust their guys in the back to cover one-on-one. So that'll be, that'll be a good matchup. No matter who gets a start, you're going to have a Mississippi State quarterback making their first road start as a quarterback. How do you kind of prepare for that part of it? Um, I mean, we've been, we've been repping the, the game day atmosphere, just being ready for the noise and communicating with the speakers at practice, but um, just being ready for that and operation and get a standpoint from the sideline with, with amongst all the chaos. On that front, what's like the biggest crowd you played in front of in high school? Um, probably Liberty. Yeah. And we played at Liberty in Virginia, and they had we played in Liberty University Stadium. There's a big crowd out there. I'll bring you a little bit bigger. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Three games in, are things starting to slow down just even a little bit for you right now? Oh uh, yeah, I mean I'd say that. Just it's the same thing. But going against the SEC pre- you know, defense and practice helps too. So I mean we got guys flying around and uh, give us good um, simulation of what we see on Saturdays. And it's it, I mean it's been easy to adjust. Coming into the game day. Tommy mentioned how your maturity has really increased throughout this whole process. Over the summer, you're fighting for reps with the threes, and, and now you've been taking them with the ones. How much has that helped the maturity, the maturity process? Uh, I mean, the biggest thing is just have confidence in yourself. And, uh, I mean, everybody else will buy into you if you can just make plays versus not, if you know what you're doing, and it, it's easier from there. Coach Moorhead's given a lot of credit to your high school coach for how he taught you and kind of prepared you to be a a college quarterback, and you now that you're here and looking back, what do you think those guys did at your high school to, to prepare you for this? Oh, uh, Coach Eastup, did, he did a great job. Um, just the way he ran the program, as far as just the way practice layout, I mean, practice setup and everything, and then especially, especially on the game days. So we had he brought in a bunch of uh, NFL experience. We had over like I think it was over 100 years of NFL experience um, just on our uh, high school staff. The guys like Pete Metzlarz, Joe Jacoby, John Casey, and Eugene Robinson, all those guys um, really helped us get just teach us about what they knew and all the experience they had. How much have former teammates and coaches reached out to you throughout these last couple of weeks and telling you how you've played and stuff? I've talked to a bunch of uh, guys I play with in my class, and every now and then they'll reach out. I'm, I'm going to probably go back in a couple of weeks and get, we'll see them, so it'll be good. Cheers, <laughs> Kind of cliche, but now that you've got an SEC start, an SEC win under your belt, is there anything at all different about showing up for practice the next week, or is it just more of the same? No, I mean, especially with the pound we got this week, mm-hmm. we're just worried about Auburn. Mm-hmm. I mean, that's in the past. It was good to get a win, but it's Auburn mm-hmm. this week. Joe was talking to me about, about it post-game. Uh, at Penn State, obviously, you ran some stuff with two quarterbacks playing out on the way, out on receiver and under center and all that with Tommy. How, how comfortable do you feel up maybe lining up at receiver say when Tommy comes back, you guys get two guys healthy? I mean, I'd love to do that, but um, that's not what it's going to look like right now. If Tommy's back, he'll be he'll be going, and then um, I'll just be ready when they need me. What was it like for you yesterday to get the news that you were the SEC Freshman of the Week? And, you know, who, who let you know? And just did that mean anything to you in the moment? I was getting treatment downstairs, and um, – Reiner came up to me. He's like, "Congratulations!" I shook his hand. I was like, "On what? Thank you. you want us to see freshman?" I was like, "Oh, sweet, thanks." <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, did you, mean, did you even on. know they gave out such an award? I've, yeah, I've heard of it, but I mean, <laughs> I think it means more to your parents than it does to you. Yeah, my dad sent it to me too. So <laughs> it's been good. Though. He'll say.